Hi, you guys. It's Ari from um, Let's Get Personal by Ari Squared. Um, this morning, I am going to do... Um, actually, I saw this on another designer's page. <laughs> that Actually, I've seen it all over the place. Um, and I'm going to give it... <clears throat> I figured I'd try today with you guys, and um, I'm going to use some colors I really don't ever use, and it'll be just like a bunch of different colors together, and um, we'll see how it goes. So what we're going to do is take our heart transfers, which we've used, you know, a bazillion times, and we're going to uh, chalk on felt, cut them out, stuff them, make little pillows, and put them in a basket. We'll see. Um, and the, these are the crazy colors I picked out. Um, Couture Coral, Purple, Gold, Tide, and Teal. I have no idea why. I do, really, because, um, because I never use them. And I don't know what they'll look like together, so we're about to find out. So, hope you guys had a good night. And once again, I did not... did not um, bring my computer up. I don't, I don't know why. I think I've just been really busy working on a couple of other projects. Um, really busy. So just bear with me a minute, you guys, if you can do that. I just gotta uh, get back to Facebook. And if I can't get back to Facebook, then, oh, I think I can. Let me just try to, I can hear my, you know when you um, do something with your computer and you can hear it um, kind of like scrolling through things? Well, mine's <laughs> scrolling through like it sounds like everything in the, in the hard drive. So, okay. So this is what I saw done. I saw them and they didn't use felt. But this is what I thought. I thought that sometimes, you know, you have to improvise, right? You need to maybe use what you have because you don't have what you need, but you have something like it. And sometimes it's probably good to use what you have because maybe you have an excess of it. So I do have an excess of felt um, in all kinds of colors because I do, um, what? garland with it, like Halloween garland, Christmas garland. Um, I would do Valentine garland, but I just don't have the time. So anyway, this was done on like, um, well, I don't know what, what would I call it? Um, like the banner material, I don't canvas maybe. I don't know what that is, but, um, so they used that. I don't have that. So I'm just going to use felt. And then they stuffed the pillows with cotton, and I don't have that. So what I do have is an excess of felt. So we're gonna stuff the pillows with the felt. And I, you know, refreshed my screen, and um, yeah, everything's gone now, so it's all good. Oh, look, it's back again. All right, let me try one more time, because I see somebody's on, but I don't know who. So thank you for joining, whoever that is. Um, now I see two people on and I still can't tell who it is because this thing's still scrolling through all of its stuff. I don't, I haven't used the computer since yesterday so I really don't know what it's scrolling through. Oh, there we are, oh yay. Okay, so, um, three people now. Hi Valerie, how are you? <laughs> I just got done talking to you. Uh, thanks for joining. Okay, so um, I said we're going to... Hi, Colleen. Um, thanks for joining. Colleen, I'm going to do those um, heart pillows, and I'm going to do it on felt, and instead of stuffing it with felt... Uh, hi, Karen. Um, thanks for joining. Instead of stuffing them with felt, I'm going to stuff them... I mean, cotton, I'm going to stuff them with felt because I don't have cotton. So I said sometimes when you want to do a project and you might not have what you need, but you have something like it. So I don't have the right material, but I have felt, and I don't have cotton to stuff them with, but... God knows I have felt. So, um, hey Karen. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll see how it turns out. And I picked out some crazy colors to use. 
like not pinks. Um, actually, I have one sort of pink. It's uh, Couture Coral. So, um, and then the coral, I have to tell you, I, I really love that color. Can you guys see this? These, fla these flowers, these um, hearts back here, there's one, two, three, four, five. I took the coral yesterday and I painted the big one and then I added a little white and painted the next one and added a little more white and painted the next one until I got to white, almost white. I hope they don't fall apart because they're not really glued together. Ugh. Aren't they pretty? That's the, um, this bottom one, that's the, that's the couture coral color, which I just love. Ah, go back. So, um, so we're gonna get started. There we go. We're gonna get started, and I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna find out. So, um, hi, honey. Good morning. So, um, if you guys can sprinkle the video, that's S H A R E, that'd be great. And if you do that, then you have to write sprinkled in the comments so that I know that you've done that. If you do that, then I'll take your name and I'll put it in a basket. And at the end of the month, I draw a name out of the basket and whosever name I draw will get a full chalking kit to do a chalking project at home. And when you get the kit, if you want to do it with me, you just let me know. If you need instructions, you let me know. Um, I'm always here for you guys. If you want to peruse my shop, um, the shop now button, and you see maybe a transfer you want to see used, um, let me know and I'll do a live with it. Same thing with surfaces. If y'all see like a surface that you think, um, like what would I do with that? Ask me and I'll use it in a live. Okay, because that's what I'm really here for. I'm here to show you guys how to chalk and use things that you might want to see used and do projects that you might want to see done. Okay, so um, I have tons of felt, but I took out one piece of red and white. Because the one piece of red, I want to do just like one red heart and then everything else in all the other colors. So, um, I'm going to, I don't, hmm. this is not how I saw it done, but this is the way I'm going to do it because I'm not really sure how they knew where to fold to, to keep the two pieces of the hearts together. So, all I'm going to do, okay, this you can see I have doubles here, right? I have two of these, two of these, I have two of these, and only one of these. Because yesterday I gave the new ones of these to somebody to um, use for me. I'm, I'm having something made from them. So these are new, this one and this one, but I'm not gonna fuzz it. I think I've gone through this before. The reason I'm not gonna fuzz it is because, um, so anytime you take a transfer out of the package for the first time, you really should fuzz it. And that simply means, um, <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks, honey. Um, it just means that you take the transfer off of its backing sheet. My husband made fun of my hair. Um, and I don't blame him. It really is a, it's why it's in a ponytail. So you take it off the backing sheet and we have fuzz cloths, right? But you can use any cloth, a dish cloth, a towel, a bath towel, any, anything, your shirt, your pants. Um, so you take it off and you put the sticky side on this and you rub it on and you peel it off. And what you're really looking to do is put a layer of fuzz on that transfer so that when you use it on your surface and you try to remove it, it doesn't stick so much so that you you know, damage the transfer when you take it off. But because we're putting it on fabric, you don't really need to fuzz it because the, the you know, the fabric is the fuzz. So I'm just going to use it directly off the, sh the sheet, off the new backing sheet, right onto the, um, right onto the felt. And actually I wasn't going to do a little one in red, but it looks like now I'm going to do the little one in red. Okay, Colleen, have you done these? Um, this is not what your chalk paste should look like. It should look more like a cut or um, yogurt. So it's a water-based paste that is non-toxic. So um, if it gets like that, <laughs> which is dried out, just add water to it and stir. 
and it'll come back to a, a normal consistency. Um, except I've had problems with my white. So this might not, but I know I can get it to a point where I can use it. I just had to go yesterday and order a whole bunch of paste. I, I'm like out of so many things. Okay, this is um, not as, what would I call it? Not as smooth as I would like to see it. But like I said, I've had some problems with this white, so it's not going to be. So anyway, it's, you can see it's much more liquefied now. This is kind of what it should look like. But, you know, close enough. So all you do after you get it to be the right consistency is you take some on your uh, mixing stick and you just kind of slather it on the transfer. And then you take a squeegee. This is a big one. Um, you take a squeegee and you drag the paste down over the screened area on the transfer. These are self-adhesive silk screen reusable transfers. When you have a big screened area like this, I use a big one so that you don't get a whole bunch of like, um, lane, I call them lane lines, <laughs> you know, lines where you've gone down and overlapped. So I'm just gonna um, drag that paste down. Oh, I forgot this is felt. So yeah, so for whatever the reason, felt isn't really all that absorbent. So the paste kind of sticks, stays like on the top of the felt. So um, you might use a little more if you use felt and you might have to go over it like maybe twice, not always. I was going to use ink because ink works with felt really well, but I didn't want to have to wait for all that ink to dry. So we're back to chalk. When you're done and there's an excess, you just take it and put it back in your jar so that you can use it again at another time. Can you hear this? This is totally going to be fuzzed. Okay, so here's one, and I'm just going to lay these aside and let them dry as I go from one to the next. And then I'll, you know, cut them out, we'll stuff them, we'll, you know, maybe I'll even put a key on one of them, I don't know. Alright, so there's one. So now here's my felt, and it's kind of a big piece. So I'm going to fold it in half like I did the other one. And I'm going to do the next heart. So I think the next heart, I like the color purple, so I'm going to do the big heart, the love. I What does this say? Oh, just love. Okay. Yeah, I'll do this one. And this isn't all that sticky anymore because I've used it so many times. Um, I'm telling you, like they say, I don't know what they say. 12 to 14 times you can use a transfer. I can't count how many times I've used this. L honest to God, I've, I've used this, tran this set of transfers. The only reason I took a new one out today is because the two that I gave to somebody yesterday, um, I, I needed. So um, I opened a new one. But other than that, I, I'm still using the original set and I have done easily two dozen hearts, easily. So I find you get a whole lot more use out of them than they say you do. All right, I'm done with white, so I'm, I'm just gonna put that away. Um, it, yeah, I am, okay. I have an itchy face today, like allergies or something. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this aftermarket purple. This is something I picked up outside of Couture. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of like, you know, lather it on. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And again, there's a big screened area, so I'm gonna use a big squeegee. You don't have to, it's just my preference. And I'm just gonna drag that paste down the transfer. Oh yeah, again. I just need more because felt is, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it is absorbing it. Seems like it's like sucking it up. Okay.
Okay, and this little bit of extra that's left, I'm gonna put back in the jar. And then I'm gonna put this jar away. Take the stick out, ah, put the top on. You know what, you don't have to put the top on right away, but if you forget and the top doesn't eventually go on, it will dry out, which isn't the end of the world because it's a water-based paste and you just wet it again. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. I just love this color. Look how pretty. All right, so I'm just gonna work my way down and over. So I'll do the next one. Um, I just got purple on this, but that's okay. So I'll do, uh, I'm gonna do a little one here because I'm not sure I can fit the big one. So I'm gonna do this one now. This set comes with four transfers. It doesn't come with it. When you buy the transfer for these cut, cut out hearts, heart cutouts, there are four transfers in the set. That's the way I should say it. Okay, so I think this one I'm gonna do, I'll do gold. And our shimmers are like always the right consistency, so you really never have to um, mix them. Although actually I will take a stick to apply the cream, apply the chalk. Um, uh, I think I'll use a small one for here. It's not all that big. And you know what I think these would be great for? Like, I don't know if y'all have kids in school, like little kids, but, um, you know, felt is not expensive. Fabric, you can get like some cheap white fabric can use old t-shirts um, if you made some of these and you tied little pieces of paper on them for Valentine for like a Valentine exchange at school I know my kids used to have them um, and they can write a little note on it and it can be like a you know a great way to deliver a little Valentine and then the little kid who gets that gets to keep the little heart you know as a, like a little keepsake or you can do it for your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Okay, two down, three to go. Actually, three down, three to go. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to cut this apart so that I do not get... Um, chalk where it doesn't belong by rubbing up against it, so. And I'm gonna put this aside and let it dry for now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this top piece and fold it in half. And the purpose in folding it in half, you really don't have to, but it just keeps the front and the back together. So when I'm gluing the sides, I don't have to try to line everything up. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this one. And, you know, normally my inclination would be to do each line, each section a different color. It's not happening today. I'm just going to do it all one color. But that's where my mind would go. I would want to do everything a different color. But for time's sake, because th I'm trying to do this, you know, fairly quickly, um, I'm just going to do it all one color. And I think I'm going to do it in one of these really pretty blues. Okay, so this is a brand new transfer, and I can tell because, listen, can you hear that? It is so sticky, so sticky. Okay, so all I'm doing is lining up one edge of the heart on the fold line, and I'm not gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut around that. I'll show you when I'm cutting it out. That way you have two pieces of fabric that stay together, a front and a back. So I'm gonna use this one. This is Tide. This is a really pretty color, but I don't think I've used it on much of anything. Just because I feel like it's more of a, I don't know, not a winter color, I'll say. Actually, it probably is a winter color. Uh, what do I know? Oh, I didn't wanna do that. 
Hold on, you guys, because now I went and got chalk on here, and I'm gonna, I know I'll get it on one of the hearts, so let me get rid of it. Okay. Now, let me mix this and try this again. This didn't need water added to it, but it had like, um, it looked like oil, but I'm sure it was water. So they separated a little bit. And again, that's okay. Just mix them together. And I'll show you what they look like. See, that's what it looks like now, which is exactly what you want it looking like. And again, I'm just taking a whole bunch and slapping it on there. And then because there's this is a bigger heart, big screened area, I'm gonna use a bigger squeegee again. So, um, you guys, we have a whole bunch of stuff coming out. They're retiring some paste, some chalk paste, and some transfers, like a whole bunch. And so all new colors are, not all new, a bunch of new colors are coming out, a bunch of new transfers are coming out, and the designer kit is going to be brand new on February 1st. So in two weeks, they're launching like a really big release. So um, it would be a really great time to do the designer kit because it's gonna have a whole bunch of really cool stuff in it. They're even retiring a couple of surfaces. I didn't know that they did that, but apparently they do. Um, and so I'm totally stoked to see what the new stuff is going to be. I really am because I haven't been here all that long. So I've only seen, you know, what they've had right along. And I would be really interested to see if they're changing up their, um, the feel of everything. Like, because I don't know how to say it. Um, they're not real silly and funny. They're not real farmhousey. They're not. They're kind of more like traditional transfers, I would say. I don't even know if that's going to make sense to anybody. But anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm interested to see if like the overall theme or mood changes, um, what the new colors are. Um, it's going to be really good. And because certain designers qualified to get a sneak peek on one of them. I can't wait. I think Friday. I think Friday I'm going to get a sneak peek. Um, and also if, you, oh my gosh, I, sh <laughs> I should have fuzzed this to put it on the fuzz. This is like major sticking. So um, we also have a program called <laughs> Club Couture. I lost my head for a minute. So Club Couture is a monthly program. So, okay, so this is what you can do. Let me explain it this way. Y'all can just shop if you want. Like, say you just feel like doing a chalking project and you've never done it, or maybe you do it all the time, who knows? So all you do is go up to my shop and you browse around and you pick out whatever chalk you want, whatever transfer you want, whatever surface you want, if you even want a surface, because maybe you have them at home or maybe you're gonna chalk on a wall. And then, um, you buy it, right? And that's the end of it. And maybe you do that once or maybe you do it a hundred times a month. It doesn't really matter. That's the way you choose to use the chalking products. And that's fine. Here's this one. So the next step up, I'll call it, would be um, like a monthly program. So that's the Club Couture program. So the Club Couture program is a monthly program where for $20, you get every month... I'm going to use a new piece of felt. I don't. I don't think this is going to fit, and I won't have edges to do the, the gluing, and that'll be another problem. Um, so once a month, you get um, an exclusive transfer. You get chalk to go with chalk paste to go with that transfer, um, and you get you know full instructions, and there's videos online and all of that stuff. And you also, because you're a club member, if you will, you know, Club Couture, because you're a club member, a monthly club member, 
your your transfers that you get are exclusive to the club. They're never released to the public. And you also get um, like exclusive offers. For instance, this month in January, um, Chalk Couture released three stencils. They're called they're motivational stencils or transfers, motivational transfers, right? So they're only available in January and they called it the Kickstart program. I don't know why, but that's what they named it. So for co for club for club members, only club members. Like if I go on, I'm not a club member. So if I go on and I spend $300 in product, it doesn't matter. I don't qualify for anything. But if a club member goes on and they spend $175 yeah, $175 worth of stuff. They can pick one of the three transfers for free. If they spend $200 in product, they get two of the three free. And if they spend $225, I might be going too far. It might be $75, $100, and $125. They get all three for free. Um, and that is exclusive to the club members. So you guys get... You guys get... Um, exclusive offers which is nice and then there is the designership program which is what I do and that just gives you a big kit so for um for for sorry I'm trying to decide what I'll, all right I'll do this one small um for $99 you get $250 worth of product and a, it is a really nice kit. You get some nice surfaces, you get some nice chalk colors, and you get some nice transfers. And, you know, everything you need, really, to start chalking. And then, um, it, by, by doing that, that allows you to qualify for 40% off all of your purchases from that point forward, which is really nice, really nice. So, um... When you shop, you get 40% off everything. And in addition to that, the very first time you make a purchase, you get the 40% off because as soon as you do it, you qualify for the 40% off. And that first purchase, you get another 15% off. So you're actually, on your first purchase, you're getting 55% off retail price, which is phenomenal. So once you're a design, designer once you get into that like designership program um you can still chalk for yourself right you just want to do it as a hobby you like to make you know some high-end uh, diy d d home decor for your home or maybe you want to give it as gifts that's fine that's all you do or maybe you want to take it to the next step and maybe you want to sell some of the stuff that you make right and so you put it i don't know at a store in a show um, on the marketplace, your friends, family, whatever. That's fine too. Or you can sell the products and do it at your leisure whenever you want, however you want, and that's fine too. Or you can do lives and, you know, build a team, and that's fine. They don't really care what you do. There, of course, there's rules, but. You know, they don't care if you are a designer and you only want the discount to chalk for yourself. Or if you're a designer and you want to get, you know, 30,000 people in, they don't really care. The beauty of it is you can go from one to the other, back and forth, it doesn't matter. So that's the designership program. And if anybody is interested in chalking and they think they might do it more than like once a month, honestly, the designership program is the way to go because you get 40% off everything you buy which is, I'm telling you, like really an amazing savings. Okay, so I just love this color. This Couture Coral is such a beautiful color. All right, so I only have one, one heart left and it's gonna be teal. And um, then we're gonna cut the flower, the hearts out. We're gonna stuff them, glue them together, maybe embellish one or two and put them in a nice basket for display and we'll call it a day. So let me do this one a little bit differently, maybe. I'm trying to get it where I can, don't have to let me fold up another piece of felt. I think this will be close, but I think we can do this. All right, so last one. 
is this teal color, which is really pretty. Oh, it looked like it was gonna be really dried out, and it's not. Just needs to be mixed. I figured I would hop on because I've been painting since yesterday. Um, and I had to um, spray everything. So right now stuff is drying. So I figured this is a really good time for me to pop in, do a project, talk to you guys, see you guys. Because I don't want to, you know, miss a live. I really enjoy doing this with y'all. So I figured now's a good time. And hopefully I thought maybe some people will be around and awake because it's not, you know, four in the morning, <laughs> which is my normal time. Okay, last one. Here we go. Same process, just you're just going to drag that paste down. And every time you change colors, you really do want to change your squeegee and your mixing stick. Or, oh, I put the top on. What's it called? I think it's called a, a mixing stick because you don't want to contaminate your colors by getting colors mixed into each other. All right, so I'm almost done. I'm just going to try to pull some of this excess off because it looks pretty thick on here. I guess it wasn't as thick as I thought it was. All right. So now, now I'm going to, um, I'm going to start at the beginning and I'm going to start to cut these out. That's, a, oh my gosh, the coral and the teal look amazing together. Oh, wait till I show you. I mean, maybe you could see it right there. I'll hold it up. Look how good these two colors look together. See, now I want to do a project with these two colors. This to me screams spring and summer. I really want to do a project with these now. Okay, so I'm being careful when I cut them apart because I want to leave... First of all, I want to leave the folded edge intact. But the other thing I want to leave is I want to leave an edge around them because I want an area to glue. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm just separating these so they can dry. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the red one, which I did first, and I'll go in that order. This is kind of thick felt, which is good, I guess. Okay. So now I'm gonna just fold this up real quick, put that in the scraps. Okay, now we're moving. Okay, so the red one I did first. Now this is the folded edge, and when I cut, I'm gonna leave that edge alone. I'm not gonna cut that at all. I'm gonna start up here and just cut around down to there. And that way, um, oh, this is still really wet. Um, hmm. Let me see if I could dry it. That way the two pieces stay together. That's what I was going to say. If you have one of these dryers and you're using it on felt, you just got to stay far enough away and make sure that you don't burn the felt. Because the felt is... Um, really fibrous and it won't catch on well I don't know maybe it will catch on fire I don't think it'll catch on fire but those fibers do get really hard hot and they kind of melt and you don't want that to happen because the fabric begins to like shrivel up how do I know that you ask <laughs> yep I dried some felt one time and you know what happened yeah it didn't catch on fire but it sure did shrivel up and ruin a project. I don't need this to be like super dry, but I do need it to be where it's not gonna, you know, rub on other pieces as I cut and stuff. I don't, I don't wanna make a mess. All right, so I'm leaving like maybe a half an inch, a quarter inch, something like that um, area. I guess I was gonna say seam, but it's not a seam, um, around each heart because that's gonna be the area that I glue. 
And I'll show you because I'm going to cut one and glue it. I'm not going to um, cut them all and glue them all. So here's what we have right now, right? And I said to leave that folded edge folded. So this is what you have. So it's kind of like, um, you know, it will be a pillow, but at least now the pieces are stable and intact. So I'm going to glue everything except a little section down here, which I'm going to leave open to stuff, and then I'll glue that shut. Actually, and these, because they're felt, I think they're going to make really cute, comfy little, you know, little like pillows. Okay, so this is what we have now. We now have, it's glued up to here. So I'm going to take some, I'm going to take some of this um, loose felt that I have. All I did was take some felt and cut it into strips and pieces. And other felt in here is already in pieces. Like when I run out of enough felt to use on a big project, I just stick it in the bag, figuring at some point I can use it for something. And, and here we are. So I'm just using my finger to get the, um, oh, look, piece did not get glued. So if that happened, you can just re-glue it. And I don't want to, you know, squeeze too hard because I don't want the glue coming out. I guess I probably overstuffed that, is my guess. So, you don't have to make it like, you know, super fluffy. And I'm, tr I'm trying to be careful because mine is not dry yet. This, this uh, chalk paste is still not really fully dry. So I'm trying not to touch it too much. That's why it's taking me a little bit longer to fill this. Okay. So now I have it stuffed more or less. And um, you can kind of see that, right? Oh, this way. Okay. So I still have all of this still has nothing there. So now I'm going to glue this little section that's left. And I'm going to do it this way because the front and the back are not exactly lined up on mine. Because it looks like I, you know, over, I, I didn't line them up properly when I began to glue them. So I'm just going to try to straighten them out now. Okay. Now, when this glue is dry, I might trim this edge a little bit. Not a lot, like the littlest bit. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for joining. We're making pillows, heart pillows, um, to more match this side. You see how this is like a little wide? So I might trim that a little bit when, I, when, when it's all dry. Certainly not now because it's still wet. All right, so here's the first heart pillow. I think that's adorable. What do I do with the rest? Oh, right here. Okay, so purple next. And the gold doesn't really look gold. Y'all, do you think that looks gold? I think it kind of looks like pewter and not, not sparkly at all. Okay. So, starting again. Same thing, leave the folded edge folded and just leave like a quarter inch, half inch area around it for glue and cut around that heart both pieces front and back oh yeah I gotta dry this this is getting on my hand this one's really wet I guess they're all really wet I thought it would be I honestly I really thought it would be dry by now I'm just gonna stuff this in it in a minute
Sarah, it looks like it's me and you, kiddo. Oh, Zach, hey, boss. Late start, to, yeah, late start, I've been busy. I didn't get a late start. You know, I've been up since three, but this is a late start. Okay, so same thing, I'm gonna, you know, here's what you end up with. So keep them folded and we're gonna glue everything except an edge on the side to stuff it with. So I'm gonna start at the top and work my way around, all the way to the bottom. Okay, so now everything's glued except this little pocket. Well, that is little. And I'm gonna start stuffing it now, again. And I don't know, honestly, if it's, it's probably better to wait for the glue to dry, but um, I'm just gonna try not to put too much pressure on it so I don't pop it open again. Ah, see, popped it open. So maybe, you know what I'll do? I'm going to leave this like this. I'm going to go ahead then and cut out and glue and then stuff because apparently it makes a difference. I thought we'd be able to cut and glue, cut and glue, but no. All right, so I'm just going to cut them out. You know, I'll cut a couple more out. I don't think I need to cut them all out for y'all because I don't want to keep everybody. I just love that coral. Sarah, wait till you see the last two I did. Hold on, I'll show them to you. Those two colors, I didn't do it on purpose, but once I did it, they look amazing together. And if you come back this weekend, you'll see. Because you could play. Oh, yeah, I am gluing, okay. Okay, I'm gonna glue this one now. not where it should be. Oh, that's better. Okay. Just push it down so you get nice contact. Okay, and I'll show you the, the two, the coral and the teal together. They look, oh, they're just so pretty. Check these out. Oh, these are really wet. I'm gonna have to dry these. I love them. Really wet. Sorry, guys, I can't even handle this. I gotta dry them. It got all over me. And the, and the felt. You'll see a thumbprint on this uh, coral one. The piece where the, uh, the chalk is missing. That's how wet it was. Okay, that's, I can handle that. You know, I wonder, this, this felt, this particular felt, the white felt, seems to be handling the dryer a little bit better. The other felt that I used was not white, it wasn't this felt. So maybe the felts, depending on like their nap, or their, I don't know how else to describe it, how fuzzy or furry they are, maybe that really will affect how they handle the heat from the dryer. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, now we'll cut, glue, stuff, embellish, put them in a basket, and I'll show them to you. I'm still trying to handle this gingerly because and it's not totally dry. Oh, what's with my scissors? I'm telling you all, I have the worst luck with scissors. I don't know if anybody saw when on the live when my scissors broke, 
like a pair like this, you know, Fisker scissors, like good, good scissors, broke, snapped right in half. They just don't make them like they used to. All right, gluing. Uh, I clearly need a, a glue stick. further than I thought. Okay. One more to glue and then we'll stuff and I'll show them to you. We'll stuff them. I think I'm gonna embellish one or two just with like a little ribbon, maybe a little pom-pom. Maybe I'll put a key on one of them. And maybe I'll write like a little love note after the live and attach it to one. For my husband, of course. Okay. Gluing. I think that's enough on this one. Okay, good. Now. I'll go back to the one I popped open. Okay, so I'm gonna finish stuffing purple because now the glue, the glue should be, you know, like seriously dry. So I'm just taking the scraps that I cut off and I'm actually putting them back in. I'm using it as stuffing. Well, I've got chalk really all over me. I hope it doesn't get on these pretty, pretty pillows. gonna move over the inside so that okay and now I'm gonna glue the uh, pockets that I left open I'm gonna glue them all shut now once I'm done stuffing piece of the stuffing got glued. Ah, okay. I'm just going to go with it. Having all, all sorts of trouble here. Okay. So now here's the, the next one. Cute, right? And now I'll do I guess I'll do the gold one that doesn't look gold at all. It really doesn't to me. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I get some in those, the top round parts of the heart so that those aren't flat. And then a little bit in the body. And again, glue. This time I'll try to really tuck in those, those insides. Okay. So to shut them because they gap, I just pull them apart and it causes them to be straight and lined up. Just so you know why I did that. Next one. Okay, we're getting there. We are almost done. Oh, this blue one's still really wet. It's funny because the, the peach or the coral one, totally dry. This one, still really wet. I 
think that that's probably plenty. And once they're stuffed, you guys can manipulate the inside so that they get a little more uniform. Or you can stuff with actual stuffing or in cotton and you won't have to worry about it. But I didn't have stuffing or cotton. So in a pinch, you use what you have. I love this glue gun, the cordless glue gun, but if it stays plugged in a while, it gets really hot. Okay. Teal. And last one is coral. I had to think about that. I couldn't remember what color it was. Okay. I didn't leave much open on this actually, and really not on purpose. I left a little tiny hole at the bottom. And I can open it up if I wanted to, like open some, you know, one of the seams that's glued, open it up a little bit more, but I'm not going to. I'll work with it. So it's up to y'all, you could, if that happens, you could, you know, pull a little bit where the glue is and just reopen it. Okie dokie. Okay, and now I'm gonna glue this bottom piece and then I will grab a couple of things to embellish. I'll grab a key. I didn't bring any embellishments down because I didn't think I would, but now seeing them, I think they'll do okay embellished. I wasn't sure really how it would look. Embellished, I kind of thought like pillows, you know, maybe they should just stay like they are, but I think they'll look really cute. Okay, so bear with me. Ow, one second, because they're right here. So which one am I gonna embellish? I th think I'll do the love one, because it's big and it's dry. So be right back. I'm just going to grab the, the key, the stuff. I'm grabbing the goods. Okay, I'm back. I got pink and white because it's just what I grabbed. Oh, you know what I do need though? I do need um, something thin so I can wrap the key, get it through the keyhole. I'll use this. Okay, good enough. Because you won't really see it. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do, I just grabbed ah, one key and a couple of, uh, like just little ribbon stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is tie the key on first and then add a few little, you know, cute things and then then that's it, we're done. I'll put them in the basket and then we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right through the top of the key and then wrap it around the heart. Now how do I wanna do this? Maybe like that, okay. I'm gonna put the other side through too, just so it holds the key tight to the pillow so that it doesn't, you know, flop around too much. Okay. There, now I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit and just tie it. I know you guys probably can't see what I'm doing, but all I did was really take the piece of twine it's actually baker's twine but whatever and I'm, I'm actually just tying it in a bow to keep the key on and then I'm gonna hopefully cover up the baker's twine since it matches nothing with some of the other cute embellishments I have here well, maybe I'll leave it out. I don't think it matters too much okay so I'm gonna use the white or maybe pink 
think pink because there's like an awful lot of white already here. This is all that's left of my pink though. Maybe one, I have the other, oh, uh, I wanted to use the loose pom-poms, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. So I have the wired pom-poms I'll just use. I like the loose ones. I mean, I like these too, but I really like the loose ones. And I'm out, they're gone. I've used them on so many things. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie this. And I'm gonna, you know, take it, take the key out from underneath it. And this is kind of like, this is wiry, so you could just twist it. You don't really have to tie it. And then I'm just gonna um, twirl it around something. I just grabbed a paintbrush, because it was sitting here. Twirl it around and then pull it out so that you have like a, um, a corkscrew, I guess you'd call it. And then I have some pink, I think they're pink pearls. And I'll put them on too. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, let me trim this twine off. I'm gonna actually make it a knot and then trim off these pieces because it really doesn't look good with the pink. I thought it would be okay, but it's gotta go. Okay, that's good because now you just see the key. All right, and I have these little pearls that I think I'm going to also put on there. Just to kind of drape over the key, that's all. And so, if I'm gonna do that, I need to get this on top, okay. And for this, I'm gonna put a little piece of, um, a little piece, a little dot of glue on it so that it stays in place, so that it doesn't, um, cause, they're pearls, you can't really tie them. They don't stay. But if you glue them, then of course they stay. And I'm gonna leave just a couple of pieces of the, you know, cut like um, a few inches of the pearls hanging down by the key. And I might embellish one or two more I'm not sure, but there you go. That's it. And then I have this basket, so let me put some in here. And I think it would need more. I picked clearly too big a basket. I definitely think I would need more hearts. But that's okay. You guys will definitely get the idea here. Okay. So here's the heart basket. And again, my idea was, and I, I think it would be a great idea, if you took one of these little pillows, and even each one of them, if you saw like you're gonna see your sister for dinner or your friend um, for lunch, or maybe your kids, like I, I used to do this, under my kid's pillow at night, so when they go to bed, they find a surprise with a little note or in their lunch boxes. Um, I used to do that all the time. Like I would, you know, um, you know, maybe make one of these hearts and then I would attach a little love note to it and I would put it under their pillow so when they get in bed at night, they find it. Or um, in their lunchbox. So when they get, you know, when it's lunchtime, they open their lunchbox, they have a cute little, you know, heart pillow and a cute little love note from mom. So here you go, that's it. So I appreciate you guys spending this time with me. Thank you for joining me. And um, again, if you sprinkled the video, that's S-H-A-R-E, please write sprinkle in comments so I know you've done that, so I can put your name in the grab bag. So at the end of the month, somebody gets um, surprise mail from me, which would be nice. And um, again, you guys have any questions with anything, you just drop it in comments and I'll make sure I get back with you. And um, I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for coming, and if, uh, if I don't see you later today, then I will catch you on the rebound. Thanks.